Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today's Thursday, so that means that I am going to be posting our optional Thursday lesson. Today's lesson is quite cool. We are going to be doing uh, a virtual reality cube. Um, looks like this. Okay, so the Merge Cube, once built, you can use with a mobile device in order to look at the solar system in virtual reality. So it kind of gives it a 3D appearance. Um, it's a very cool project. So if your parents are on board for you downloading the app onto a mobile device, the first thing we need to do then is actually build the Merge Cube. So in your materials envelope for fourth graders, this was just a science envelope. For the fifth graders, this was a mixed envelope with other classroom materials. You have a template that looks like this. It's on thick cardstock white paper, okay? So the first step we are going to do is we are going to cut around the outside edge. So along the dotted line like this. I'm going to tell you that when we do this, you wanna be as neat as possible. You know, when I made mine, I tried to be very um, conscientious of cutting carefully and folding carefully. Um, I didn't try it with a cube that was a little crooked or cattywampus, as I like to say, right? So I'm not sure that if you um, don't try and make it as carefully as possible, if it will work as well. So my advice to you is to cut as carefully as you can and fold and glue as carefully as you can. Okay, right, so let's go ahead and cut around the dotted lines. I'll say it now while we're all busy cutting, is that today's lesson, I assign you a project in which we look at the solar system, um, because that is the unit that we are finishing up here at the end of the school year. But there are several other topic cards in this program, and if you would like to check out some of those other topics, um, they have the water system and they have the life cycle and ecology, they have geology, a lot of things that we have studied in science class. Um, after you do the lesson today on the solar system, I want you to feel free to go ahead and flip through the other topic cards and look at what they have in those areas too, because some of those programs are also very cool. All right, so this is what you should have when you've gotten it all cut out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to highlight on mine where we need to fold. Um, you don't need to do this. You should not do this on yours, um, but I'm going to do it. When you fold, you wanna make your lines as crisp as you can in order, um, for your cube to be as square as possible, right? So it's not crooked. So you wanna make it nice and square, all right? So I have highlighted now on mine where you need to fold on yours. Oops, one more up here, okay? All right, so go ahead and look at mine. You're gonna to need to fold all around these outside ones right here and then the three up here. These pieces are going to go inside the cube, okay? We're gonna apply uh, glue here or glue stick here in order, and we'll hide those inside the box. This is what's gonna keep the box together. You're also then gonna to need to fold here, here, and here, all right? So, put my screen down. So when you do this, I would suggest, um, you know, fold along that line, make it as straight as you can, line up the edges of the paper, and then I would take a ruler and run it along that to make it nice and sharp fold, okay? You can open it back up as you do the other ones, okay? And you're gonna wanna go along, and you're going to want to do that again at every single fold. You can open them back up so they don't all get in each other's way. Okay, work your way around, making sure you're folding every single 
On yours, it'll look like little white lines, okay? Right. I'm going to move over to the other side of the cube. The gluing part can get a little tough um, to do by yourself. So if you have a sibling who is eager to try this project with you, they may be willing to offer a helping hand for the gluing portion. Okay. So I have one more fold right here, and then I have all of my folds, okay? So if you look on this side, you can see all the folds and creases on mine. I forgot one crease right here. Okay. All right. The next thing you wanna do then is kind of fold these little corner pieces in like this, and they're gonna fold up um, into the center. This part is then going to wrap around and then it's going to tuck in like a little box, okay, like this. So how you choose and the order you choose to glue the pieces together is up to you. I think it's kind of easiest to do one side and then another side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with these two pieces right here. Because you want it to be square, it's usually best to work with an entire side. So I'm gonna glue both of the sides that are attached to the long loose end. I'm gonna fold them up and then I'm going to fold it in. Now, it's hardness to get it to push down. So I've got a little extra glue here on my finger. I'm going to reach into the box and I'm going to push down on that little um, striped flap to try and make it hug the other piece of uh, paper, the other side that's coming up on it, okay? So now mine looks like this. I am now going to go ahead and I'm going to do the top two. Now the one that's going to be the hardest is obviously the last one you do because you can't reach inside the box at that point in order to glue it down. If you want to try and put a little glue on these flaps too, you're welcome to do that. You want to make sure you have enough glue on it that it's not going to fall apart. Okay, so you can then go ahead and lay it down and put your fingers inside there to kind of smooth and push the two sides together. Okay. Now I have this. Now it looks like a regular box that I can fold down into itself like this. So my recommendation in order to get them to try and stick is kind of pull out these pieces a little bit. So here you can kind of see, so they're kind of popping up. Don't have them tucked down like this because if they're tucked down like this, they're not gonna pop up and stick to the walls very well. So kind of pull them up a little bit. Let's put some glue on the pieces here and on the other side if you want to put a little on the top go ahead and give that a go too and i'm going to go ahead and put the glue here too just to um make sure i can get and i'm going to pull that piece out a little bit as well so now i'm going to fold the top on the top um fold the top over those two flaps and i'm going to tuck in this last flap okay and then i'm going to push them together try and create the best seal I can. That last one is going to be harder to, you know, confirm that you get a seal. I wouldn't put tape on it um, because I'm not sure if the tape, what happens is the software reads this imaging on the outside of the box. And if you have tape on it, it may interfere with the screen being able to pick up the imagery. So don't put tape on it. Just do your best to get it to seal. You might want to leave it for a few minutes for the glue to harden um, before you actually use the project, okay? So when yours is done, it should look like this, except for it shouldn't have any pink on it, okay? And now you are going to be ready to try some virtual reality.